Today in class, we discuss this concept of color schemes and how we use the color wheel to really see the relationship between colors and build color schemes based off of that. So for the first part of today's activity, we're going to do just that. So I'm going to zoom in here and you're going to see that I've given you like a coloring book of a few little vectors. What I'd like you to do is first choose one of these four options here. I've shown you the color wheel so you have an idea of how these colors are related to one another. You're going to choose one of the four options and color in the shapes. So to do that you can just select the shape, use the eyedropper, and steal the color. Let's say I want to use option four. I'm going to just continue to take all my shapes and color them. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I gotta decide what color scheme is option four. So I've given you four labels here. Based on the color wheel, the definitions we went over today, I want you to take one of the labels, I'm not gonna tell you which one this is, I want you to drag it right underneath your picture and label it as the color scheme you think it is. If you're not sure what color scheme each one of these is, you can research it. Once you're done with your check for understanding, we're gonna move on to the main chunk of today. And this is gonna require you to do a little research on your own. So you're gonna choose one of the four color schemes we discussed in class monochromatic, analogous, complementary, or triadic. And you're gonna bring in an image of that color scheme here to use to color in this layout. So to do that, I'm gonna show you really quickly. I'm gonna, let's say I want it to be uh, analogous. I really like that color scheme personally. I'm gonna go to my Google images and I'm gonna find an analogous color scheme I really like. So I like this here. So I'm gonna save this. So I can right click on my image, hit save image as, and just save this somewhere I can find. Most of the time it'll save on your desktop or your downloads. Now what you want to do is go back to Illustrator. You're going to go up to File, Place. What that's going to do is allow you to place your image that you've just downloaded. I'm going to find mine. I'm going to hit Place and it should place my color scheme below. So I'm going to shrink this down just because it's kind of ginormous right now. But I just want to use this here as a reference. Now that I have my color scheme, my analogous color scheme, I'm going to select my shapes here and start coloring this how I see fit. I can change the fonts. They're grouped together to whatever color I want. And I'm using my handy dandy eyedropper just to make my life a lot easier. And I'm deciding how I want these colors to interact with this layout here. What I want you to keep in mind while you're coloring is something called contrast. And I'm gonna show you what that means. So like, for example, let's say I color the background of this a really light green, or let's say dark actually, I'm gonna make it blue. Now obviously my font being black, it's not legible. Right? It lacks contrast. Contrast is the difference between two things. So when you're working with color, you really want to think about legibility and how things are visually looking to your audience. So if I'm using a dark background, I'm going to use really light type. That way it stands out and it can be read easily. When you're done with that layout, you can try the same thing you did for your uh, main activity, but try a different color scheme this time for these pretty flowers here as the extension. Be patient. Make sure you color in all these windows. Remember, you can select more than one thing at once by holding shift to help you out. And good luck.